Here we are with the Tech on Titan Season 4 Episode 10 and yeah, last episode was more like a slow episode, informative episode where we learned how the whole plan to attack Malayne evolved and how they got the technology they now have and use basically and how everything came together and yeah, I guess we will see what happens next. I guess we get some slower episodes before we go back to Malayne, I think, and then we have more action, I guess. But yeah, we will see what happens. So if you like what you see, leave a like, subscribe or comment. Let me know what you think. And I would say, let's get to the episode. Oh, his eyes look more alive now. And he was back in the cell at that time too, I guess. It's kind of funny, like, that Aaron is, like, permanently in a cell, basically. He's always in a cell somewhere. <laughs> Two years ago. Okay, another flashback. Oh, that's them! Oh! So they are like allies to the aliens? Oh, is this where... Yeah, where, she, where her mother came from. I didn't... I completely forgot about that. Oh. Interesting. That explains why she didn't... Read out Udo on the festival. Dang. Our country's ruler? What the fuck? She's basically royalty or some shit for them? Dude, it's so interesting all this information. Pretty much, yes. I've never realized that bandage up until now. I guess that's the connection. She is blushing. How cute. But this is super interesting. This is super interesting because <clears throat> she talked to Willy, right? Before he had his theater play, basically, and told the truth. And it sounded like that she's on his side, but he is like clearly against the aliens, right? He is an alien, but he doesn't like the alien, basically. So it's interesting that she was like on his side. At least from what it sounded like that because she I think she said something along the lines that he is brave and everything for doing that. But in reality she is on Paradise Island side? On the alien side? <coughs> Ice burst stone. Interesting, I thought it was gas. Okay. She seems a bit suspect right now. Yeah. Three step process. Yep. Otherwise, they are can fodder. Which is drinking the blood, I think. So, basically, that would basically mean that Historia ha would have to eat Zeke to get the Beast Titan. With the royal blood, right? And then if they can't activate it. Wait, 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 wait. 
But she would need the but she would need the founding titan, right? So that would mean she would have to eat Aaron or not. I'm a bit I'm a bit confused. During the time the found wait. Our goal is uh, the goal of the step is to bring the island's military on power so that the rumbling becomes unnecessary. But I mean we know the what the rumbling is and how strong it can be. Additionally, during that time, the founding titan and a titan of royal blood must be sustained through inheritance. That is the third step. Zeke will pass down, uh, pass a beast titan down to a member of the royal family. But Zeke doesn't have the founding titan, so how is that supposed to work? Eren must pass down the titan or not. I'm confused. I, I just wait. But why as many children as possible? <laughs> Determination, I guess. Dude, this is so bad. Kabe did Historia had tears in her eye because she was like touched that he because she was touched that he is like no we don't do this this is not a good idea and Historia just said maybe yes very very well because she thought like it was her duty to do it and she's glad that he said that the life is more important basically <laughs> Man, he got big. Ooh, he's rattling the chains. Man, he got big. In previous seasons, he was smaller than her, right? She's pregnant? What? Who? Who? Why? What? I mean, they talked about that they have to get as many children as possible. Is that why? But then there's still a question, who? Who could it be? I don't think that it's Eren. Because I guess if it's Eren, Mikasa would be pissed as hell. Jean? No way. Connie? Pfft. Armin? Nah. Levi? <laughs> no way. Who could it be? What? Uh, <laughs> Declassified information. So that's how they got the airship. The aircraft, right? The Zep Zeppelin. From the Hizuru, I guess, basically. Let's see if we find out something about Historia. <laughs> Wait for what? To get the child and then the child can eat Zeke or whoever and become the Titan? Is that the idea or...? Oh, is that the person? God damn, dude. What a fucking piece of shit. Don't you dare! Can someone shut him up? Is this maybe poisoned? <laughs> that would be interesting. Oh, they make train rails. And this must be a shitty job. <clears throat> oh, Connie and Jean? They do this? 
Yeah. <laughs> Leva is the smallest now. Yeah, they, they really get like pushed in one direction, right? I mean, it makes sense that at some point they just can't take it anymore and they lash out. I mean, Aaron lashes out, right? <laughs> Yeah, it's so rough that they have only like a certain amount of time before they die as titans, right? Gee. <laughs> of course. Of course. I mean, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> You will be the same as Aaron. You just run in. <laughs> but if there's some food nearby, then you just go for the food and lose track of some mission. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> And I mean, Armin already has the Titan, so he's in the same situation, right? So who could it be? Why are they all blushing? Uh... Am I missing something? <laughs> Why are they all blushing? What is going on? Oh, yeah. Yeah, that is true. Yeah,いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや
the whole fight started a few episodes ago when they fought the Warhammer Titan and Eren started started his plan. Like I said, it sounds as if they are very conflicted and it's crazy how much changed from like season three until now. Um, and I feel like we still don't have the full picture why Eren is the way he is now. We don't know what happened everything like in the meantime that he now does all of this stuff and is so dead basically. Um, so yeah, I guess it's like very I, I still need more information like it's it's very hard to process for me right now because there's so much information so much stuff going on at once and i i feel like i still can't connect all the puzzle pieces together um because like i said there's just so much stuff going on um and also like the whole plan that they talked about with the hizuru hizuru about we need to improve our weapons to make the rumbling unnecessary but then like Hanji said it's the rumbling will always be the strongest option because it's so strong right and the whole thing like that they have to like make royal blood eat the founding titan right because the royal the founding titan has to be in connection with the royal blood to be able to be used and so they want to feed Zeke to Historia and I don't understand that part because Zeke doesn't have, because Historia has royal blood, right? So she, and Zeke, I think, has no royal blood, right? And even if Zeke has royal blood because Diana, Fritz, was his mother, I think, if I remember correctly. Um, even if he has royal blood because of that, um, Historia wouldn't need that, right? So... Why does she have to eat Zeke? Or should she eat Zeke? Why not Eren, who has a Falling Titan, so that she has a Falling Titan? That's something I don't understand, like how that... Why they say that she's supposed to eat Zeke. Um, so, yeah. And then, obviously, like, getting, like, the weapons, the technology to enhance their forces and all that stuff. Um... Yeah, I'm a bit confused. Lots of information that I can't, like, connect the dots together perfectly right now. Um, so I guess I just, ha just have to wait for the next episode to see and get more episodes. So maybe that I can figure it out better. Or maybe you can let me know in the comments. But yeah, if you like what you see, leave a like, subscribe, or comment. And let me know. And thanks for watching. Until next time. Bye-bye.